Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Jordan, and I'm back with another drawing video. In this video, I'm going to be drawing Sayuri and also reading some of her poems from the game Doki Doki Literature Club. So I'll be getting to that in a minute. First off, I've got a couple of updates and stuff I just want to talk about before we get into the poems. So they're coming, so stick around for them. But, update on my eye, as you can tell, probably, it's still really, really sore. So I thought it was just infected, but apparently, I had two little pieces of metal in my eye. Awesome! That was actually in there for like a week, because the first doctor didn't see it. So I had to go back again when it wasn't getting better. And then the second doctor saw it and they had to use like an electric needle type thing to actually like scrape away at the top of my eye to get the bits of metal out. It was an awesome experience. Anyway, hopefully that starts healing up soon. It's been like that for two weeks and I'm over it. I just want to be able to see properly and not look like I'm constantly crying. That'd be awesome. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Here's the line work done. I'll do a bit of a panning shot so we can appreciate the cleanness of this line work. Look how clean that is. Damn, that's clean! I can eat my breakfast off this, it's so clean. Not really, let's move on. I've got the blue lights cranked in the background to try and trick my mind into thinking it's cooler than it actually is. It's not working. It's still freaking hot. <laughs> I just want to get this video done so I can turn the fan back on and stop sweating to death. But the other update, which is really exciting and I'm really looking forward to, is I'm going to be going to Japan in February, end of Feb. So I'll be going for a couple of weeks and I'm really excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'll hopefully have some scheduled uploads for you guys. I'll definitely have a video coming out each week. Hopefully it's new content. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, but there'll be videos for you guys and I might film a little bit over there. I've heard there's this really cool forest over there in Japan and I might do some, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> And make sure you're dabbing on them haters. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to film some stuff over there. I don't know if I'll make it into YouTube videos. I'm not really a fan of vlogging, but it could be good for the memories. So I've got some ideas of upcoming videos. So stay tuned for that. But I'm really excited to go to Japan. It's going to be cool. It's going to be really cool. I'll be uploading more creepy pasta videos soon. I know a lot of people really want to see them. I've kind of taken a break from that a little bit. I've uploaded a few, but I've been trying some different things just to kind of refresh and take a bit of a break from reading all of them. But I'm really looking forward to getting back into them. And I know that's what a lot of you guys want to see. So next week should be a creepy pasta story. I've still got to draw one more Doki Doki Literature Club character, Natsuki. So I'm working on that drawing at the moment. That should be coming in a week or two. And then I'll kind of wrap that series up. And I'll definitely be getting into more creepypasta stories. So if that's what you want to see, you're in luck because that's what's coming to the channel. So stick around for that. I'm going to jump into these poems, read them. There's some really weird ones. Sayuri was an interesting character, to say the least. I actually felt sorry for her quite a bit. I think she was quite misunderstood. So you can kind of see that in the poems. They're quite lighthearted on the surface, but when you kind of dig into them, they're a little bit messed up. She's got her issues, okay? We can definitely see that. So <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing these ones. I thought they were pretty cool, especially the second one. I liked that poem. So I hope you guys enjoy them. And let's finish this drawing off and jump into these poems. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Or just keep watching this. Dear sunshine. The way you glow through my blinds in the morning. It makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Making me rub the sleepy out of my eyes. 
Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all of my dreams. Little balls of sunshine, all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in bottles, all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle, a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up and in comes my friends. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends. My friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting. Pleading. Something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo. Inside my head. Percent. Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. The colours they won't. Bright, beautiful colours flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. 
the noise. It won't stop. stop. Violent grating waveforms.